Yom Revi'i 20, level 5783, Wednesday, September 6th, 2023, 6.32, local time. The PL89 calendar is based on one verse in particular in Parshish Bahar, which is uh, in, found in Leviticus chapter 25, but um, as I was describing the PL89 calendar, the, the, the concept of it really actually comes from the entire Parshish Bahar. And um, as I mentioned, that um, when we did the Hachnas Sefer Torah, that my Parsha that I, I picked to have was Parshas Bahar. So there, there are secrets in this Parsha, and there are ideas, concepts, and principles that um, that um, are connected. And um, I suggested that it would be learned, it should be learned to understand it. And so that's, that's what I'm going to do here in these videos. I'll do a, a review of just a few verses each, each video of the Parsha. Uh, with the, with the Chumash and the Rashi, so we can understand it clearly, understand what it means, and really, uh, you know, to really see see what we're doing here with this with this thing. Now, in Parshas Bahar, but to start, um, Parshas Bahar has the word Geula, or a variant of it, Goel Geula, more than, than any other Parsha, by far. Um, so let's start. Um, and the Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai, saying, Rashi says, um, on Mount Sinai, what special relevance does the subject of Shemitah, the release of fields in the seventh year, have with Mount Sinai? Were not all the commandments stated from Sinai? However, this teaches us that just as with Shemitah, its general principles and its finer details were all stated from Sinai. Likewise, all of them were stated their general principles together, their finer deals from Sinai. This is this is what is taught in Torah's Kohanim, um, and why is the Shemitah used as the example to prove this rule, especially since the very fine details are not even specified here. It appears to me that its explanation is as follows. At the plains of Moab, Moses reiterated the majority of the laws of the Torah to the Israelites before their entry into the land of Israel. This reiteration comprising most of the book of Deuteronomy. Now, since we do not find the laws of Shemitah, the release of land reiterated on the plains of Moab, in Deuteronomy we learn that its general principles, finer details, and explanations were all stated at Sinai. Scripture states this phrase here to teach us that just as in the case of Shemitah, every statement, every commandment that was conveyed to Moses came from Sinai, including their general principles and finer details, and that the commandments delineated in Deuteronomy were merely repeated and reviewed on the plains of Moab, but not originally given there. It's Rashi. Okay, so now let's go to the next verse. Daber el b'nei Yisrael v'marta alehem ki savohu el ha'aretz asher ani nosen lachem v'shavta ha'aretz Shabbos Lashem. Speak to the children of Israel, and you shall say to them, When you come to the land that I am giving you, the land shall rest a Sabbath to the Lord. Rashi says, A Sabbath to the Lord for the sake of the Lord, just as it is stated of the Sabbath of creation, see Exodus 20.10, just as every seventh day is a holy Sabbath day, Every seventh day is a holy Sabbath day, claiming that God himself rested on the seventh day, and thus are claiming that God is the supreme creator of all existence. Likewise, man must rest from working the land on the seventh year for the sake of God, not for the sake of the land, so that it should gain fertility by laying fallow for a year. So say, Chachamim, Torah's Kohanim 25.7. Okay, third pasuk. Sheish shanim tizra sadecha, ve sheish shanim tizmor karmecha, ve asafta estuosa. You may sow your field for six years, and for six years you may prune your vineyard and gather its produce. 
ובשנה השביעית שבס שבסון יהיה לארץ. פסוק 4. ובשנה השביעית שבס שבסון יהיה לארץ. שבס להשם צד אחד לא סיזרה וחרם אחד לא תזמור. But in the seventh year, the land shall have a complete rest, a Sabbath to the Lord. You, you shall not sow your field, nor shall you prune your vineyard. Yeah, hurts. The Sados Vilakrami, as Rashi says, the land shall have a complete rest for fields and vineyards, but you may dig holes in your land. Okay. Uh, Lotis more, you shall not prune. Lotis more, this refers to a procedure which they cut off the excessive vine branches, Zimoros, and this expression is rendered by Uncleus, Lo Sichsach. You shall not cut off. And similar to it is, as thorns uh, cut down, Kisuchim, that are burned in fire, Isaiah thirty three twelve, And it is burned with fire, it is cut, Kisucha, it is cut down. And Pasuk 5. Es safiach ketzircha lo siktsor. Ve es inve nizirecha lo sivtsor. Shnaz shabason. Iye laretz. You know what? We'll keep them four, four Pasukim at a time. Four Pasukim at a time because it's, uh, we'll keep them like six minute videos. So they're watchable. Okay, until next time.